Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator. And today I want to show you one of my favorite ways to speed up working in Excel. It doesn't seem very glamorous, but adding little buttons to your quick access toolbar is a great way to be much more efficient in Excel. Putting a little button for the things you do very frequently up on that toolbar saves you a ton of time. Of course, the same principle works in any Office program. So it'll work in Word or PowerPoint, I think also with Outlook and other ones. But I'm the demo here, I'm gonna show you how to do it in Excel, but just go through each program and do the buttons that you use most frequently. Cheers. All right, so the quick access toolbar, depending on how much you use Excel, it can really save you a ton of time. I often even hide the ribbon. If you right click up here, you can say collapse the ribbon, right? And so the ribbon's gone. This is my quick access toolbar. And I haven't customized it as much as I used to because I just don't spend as much time in Excel as I used to. But it's a great, great way to speed up what you're doing here. So let's say customize quick access toolbar. So you just right click on it, hit select. Now this on the right is what's in your quick access toolbar. On the left are your options. Now, what it's kind of weird is it starts off with the popular commands filtered. It, what I like to do, just because there's so many things, I say all commands. Um, now, granted, this throws in every little button thing you can put in here, right? Which is a lot. And unfortunately, there's no easy way to search. So you have to think about what it is you're trying to do. So let's say like I want to do, uh, have a button to increase and a button to decrease the size of the font, right? So here's, I have one here. I added at one point for font size. It's a drop down. And let's, let's move this up. I like having them together next to this other font color. So it's going to be to the left of this when we, when we, all right, let's see. If, well, if I hit apply, it's going to close this window. So let's do the other one first. So. Um, I'm going to hit F. F will jump you to the first letter of whatever it is you're looking for. I'm thinking it might say font, like increase. Font, font settings, font. Oh, nope, sorry. So let's try I for increase font. This is where, it, unfortunately, there's no easy way to do this. Um, in, oh, here, increase decimal. Increase font size, all right? So let's put that there. And I usually have the, so let's search for D. I usually do the decrease on the left. So decrease font size, I'm going to add it here and I'm going to move it up. So I stick with the decrease and then increase and I do that consistently. So down, where were my decimals? Because I'm pretty sure I've added those. I use that a lot too. Uh, increase decimals, yeah, decrease decimals. So see how I have those word. But you just go through and find everything it is that you like to do, right? Which, let me hit OK. And then you'll see now up here I have a decrease and increase button. Now, can customize the ribbon. I like to just customize this and get rid of the ribbon because the vast majority of the stuff I do is not that much, right? And it's just easy to have a button to do what you want. If you're doing a lot of drawing, I highly recommend you add a group button, an ungroup button, a line left, a line middle, a line right, because the drawing, especially like in PowerPoint or Word, those tools are really handy when you want to make something kind of pretty and just aligning them and you, you should have quick access to those things. So the quick access toolbar, is a great way to do that. So um, I hope this helps. I, I highly recommend you take a little bit of time, go through it. Look at what I like to do is to come in here, say customize quick access toolbar. Now the other thing actually, so see right here it says show quick access toolbar above the ribbon. We'll also see that customize here. We'll see that we can turn that on and off right here. Um, that's funny. Over there they say above. This one is below. I like having it below the ribbon because even when the ribbon's there, this is closer to what I'm doing, right? So that's why I put it where I do. But man, the, the amount of stuff that you can do, and, and you can if you know you want to do something in drawing, right? You can help filter like what you're looking for, right? So unfortunately here, the alignment stuff, which I would have been looking for, uh, maybe it's under insert. Um, so here you could have inserting pictures and equations, pivot tables, right? You probably use those a lot or graphs. I, I do certain graphs very frequently. So I just make a button for those graphs, right? It's, it's so easy. So yeah, so it's a great way to add like the, um, I created these buttons for the start and stop recording and inserting a comment. Very, very easy way to speed up what you're doing. This is also, I think the protect and unprotect the worksheet because I was using those a lot and it's very easy to update dynamically. So I'll, I'll change it and then, you know, often I'll go remove it, but I don't really care as long as I have plenty of space. I don't mind having more stuff on here. You get very used to where they are and grouping them in a pattern really helps. So this also, let me, let me cancel here. So this is the, the freeze panes, I think. Yeah. This is the dedupe and also my filter, obviously bold print preview, I think. Yeah. So just, it, you can imagine how much time this saves and going, because the ribbon, the general ri idea of the ribbon, let's uh, bring it back here. This idea of the ribbon is a neat idea. The problem is I never know where the stupid thing is that I want it to go. And often like this home 
the home is a terrible name for it, right? They should have had one like format or something. That that would have been much made a lot more sense to me. But the a lot of the other ones aren't too terrible. Like, but Excel tries to think about what you're going to do and often will update this ribbon. You know, switch to a certain ribbon. And to me, it's just very very confusing. I like to to know exactly where I am and just to have these buttons here on across everything, no matter what ribbon I'm on, these don't change, right? So it's a great way to be just much more consistent and find what you want. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching that video. And if you wouldn't mind, ask questions or comment on the video. I read every comment that's in here. I don't always reply to everyone, but I do read everyone. So I really appreciate if you would comment. Also like, uh, it really does help me out. Cheers.